we are ready to rumble? Ready to rumble? Hey, ready to rumble? We are ready to rumble. Are you ready to rumble? Hey, Mew Crew, how you doing today? Hope you're having a lovely one. Thanks for joining us. Boogie, feeling it, yeah. Yeah, you can blame it on the boogie. Pretty good. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, yes, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, great afternoon. Maybe it's morning still. Evening, wherever you're at with your day. Hope it's awesome. Awesome sauce. We are back at you with some activity. Lots of activities. Um, yeah. Yeah, activities. Yeah, yeah, everybody stuff. loves activities. Some fun and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. We got um, um, no mucking about today. I was gonna say we got no, we got we got a hustle hustle. Yeah, we're, uh, we're we, we, we have a timeline. Today, Meg is like coming in so, yeah. right away, so we gotta get right Kay. after it. So, Sorry, guys. Let's uh, fill you in on what you need. We are gonna do some box squats to start. Then we're gonna do single leg snatch, and then we are getting into a half kneeling overhead press. Then we're gonna do a drag through and a push up, and then we are gonna finish with mini band, feet elevated, glute bridge, marches. So, you really only need one, one weight. One weight, but three if you have it. Two of the same, one that's Actually, super I have light. two of the same there just left over from you. You only actually need one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Sorry. the only reason you need two of different weight, and this could even be like a suit can. Yeah, yeah. Got it barely has snaps. to be anything that second weight. Just got to hold it, and then the other one is your main weight. Yeah. Okay? So, that's going to be for your. So, you need a mini band and one weight. Overhead press, ISO. Yeah. Lateral mini band flat. and one weight, and if you have something else you could hold on to, again, it could be anything a can a textbook, anything you've got that'll just add a tiny bit of little resistance. The rest it. is, yeah, single leg box squat, single RDL snatch, um, yeah. and then the glute bridge march. You guys got a mini band? Great. If not, yep. doesn't matter. I got mine over here. And of course your ottoman, all right? Yeah, and then a box, of course. You need okay. an elevated surface for today. So, this looks like a lot, but I'm actually only losing one of those weights. Cool, let's get you guys started. Let's warm up. Let's do our movement prep. And then, uh, and then Tabata, of course. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get into our workout. All right, so we're gonna go through that lunge matrix. Let's do two of each on either side. All right. Right foot forward, left knee down. And take that left hand that's up in the air, put it to the floor, push that back knee off the ground. Reach and rotate for two or three. After that, we're getting nice and tall. We're hugging our left knee into our chest. And then taking that right leg into a side lunge. Keeping that back nice and straight and then down into that cross edge. After that, we go Pierce Formis. After that cross tag, I mean, and then we gotta hit up that other hip flexor so that right foot then steps back, reaching up. And let's take that left hand, go down and grab that right toe, pull back, get yourself nice and straight, nice and tall, reach with that right arm, and then just kickstand that right heel into the floor in front of you. Hinge to the hips, bend that left knee, keep that back straight, reach through your toe, two hands, one hand, up to you. Then let's do that all over again. Front lunge to T-spine openers. Good. Back into that knee hug, rotation through the ankle. Knee hug Feeling to side lunge. Night, set the mood. Reach on forward. Too much, much too soon. Then creating some more tension with down to that Cossack. Corey's going faster Start this because we're on a bit of a time crunch. Just one exhale today. Yeah. I'm giving you. Just one. Other hip flexor. That will be the right like one. Reaching for that Smoking foot. Stretching that quad out. And then we're going to finish the hamstring. Then we're doing the same thing other side. Look around. No mirrors in the room. But I can see myself in you. Wah! You found a life in the night. You fall asleep till the light. You do what you think is right. Couldn't care what others like. But told you love lies a mess. Damned if you don't and damned if you do. Caught your eyes across the room. I can see myself in you. You can't remember names. 
Good. Working through that first sequence on that second side, and then we're going to do this all over again. Then we're going to get into our toe touch, or sorry, hinge toe touch squat to stand. Go with some cars, a little back activation. I see yeah. myself Back into that side lunge, side lunge, down to that Cossack. Both of those positions, please try to keep that back flat. Always trying to keep tension throughout that body. We're creating tension as you do this, not just stretching out the body or getting it warm. Creating that tension is going to help you activate those muscles that we need to get working while we go through our activity. Beautiful. Do that guy all over again. Uh, for your hinge toe touch squat to stand, what I meant by do it all over again is let's do this four times. <laughs> I guess I gotta put a number on it. I just assume it. you meant all over again. One more at least. Yeah. The hinge, forward fold, grab the toes, pull them up, find the bottom of your squat, own that position, back should not have any roundness to it, make a big Y, stand on up. Perfect. Okay, let us uh, just keep it simple, keep it quick. We're just going to go through some cars with the hips and shoulders. Not getting too fancy with it today. This is a perfectly adequate warm-up. Sometimes you do like to change it up and go do something on the floor. So that's like a scat push-up or a quadruped, a doctor rock, something of those kinds of natures. Just based on what kind of uh, movements we're doing within the actual workout. But hey, uh, we're, we've got some pretty standard things going on here, so we can just do some standard things with our warm up. Cars, knee up towards that waistline, open it, raise that ankle up in the air, get the scorpion, and then bring it all the way back to where you started. Do that twice on each side, and then we'll move into the shoulders, rotating out in front, up over the top. Follow through behind, we'll do that twice. Reverse that rotation twice. All of these cars, either hips or shoulders, we try not to lean, rotate, tilt, anything like that. We want to stay nice and sturdy. Have that tension in our core, keep nice and square the whole time. Same thing, other side. Finish that off when you guys are ready. Good. How are you feeling? Two wise? Yes. So getting that hinge pattern around the back is pad. Now you're gonna make the letter T. Down, Y, down, I, down, W, down. Same thing, we're gonna do that four times. Try to squeeze. I 
last count, so I'm gonna do one more. Okay. All right, guys, we're moving into Tabata now. We got six minutes of work ish. About actually five minutes 50 if we nail it. We're gonna start with our A skits, knees up, toes up, moving through the shoulders, moving fast, making sure to drive that foot down, punch the floor, stay nice and tall. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Here we go. Three, Let's do it. Two, one, hit it. Knees up, toes up. Start with your march without that hop or skip if you need, and then add that hop or skip when you are ready. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do that one more time. And then we're moving on to our squat pattern. Going here in three, two, one. Good job, guys, here we go. We've got about 10 seconds. Punch the floor, move fast. Fast as you move through the arms, and fast through those knees will follow. There you go. Drive down, drive down, drive down. Time. Good job. All right, we're going to take it into a uh, pop squat. Narrow feet at the top. Pop down into your squat pattern. Touch the floor if you like. Just keep your chest nice and tall. Hit it. Boom. If you guys are touching the floor, you want to keep your chest tall. We want to be vertical with our upper body. We don't have our chest down and our booty way up in the air. We've got about five seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. Okay, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, uh, we got it backwards. There you go. There we go. At the top, a little wider at the bottom. Got to keep those shins nice and straight, nice and up and down. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, gonna go single-legged RDL. We're gonna reach forward or down with our opposite hand as we in. Drive out of there. Get into your march. Add your hop at the top if you like. One, hit it. Reach forward, opposite hand. Really drive the hip back. Get that back split flat. It doesn't have to be completely vertical or. Parallel with the floor, I should say. You just have to have the intent to be hinging with that working side leg. Ah. Three, two, one. The faster you guys move through this movement, the easier it becomes because you're not having to hold one position for too long. You're moving in and out of both positions to help you stay on your feet. Two, one, hit it. Other side. You got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we got a lot of hinging work today, so we're gonna do our lateral RDL now. Take that opposite hand, reach for that hinging side toe, repeat on the other side. Boom, go, boom, go. Two, one, hit it. Touch, hinge, touch, hinge, touch, hinge. Now you don't have to go all the way down to your foot if you feel like there's some discomfort in your lower back as in it's starting to round. Feel free to dial it back, reach for the mid chin. Try to get that quick shuffle step. Load up that foot time, load up that foot that's hinging and repeat on the other side. Good job. I feel like a gorilla when I do yeah. that a little bit. I like it, it's a good dance move. Two, oh, okay. one, hit it. Touch, touch, hinge, hinge, good. Good. You guys can stay down in that hinge position the entire time if you'd like. Add a little bit more concentric, eccentric action. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, we're going to get you down on the floor. You guys are going to go push up into a downward dog, contralaterally touch that opposite knee or shin. Push up, down dog, touch that opposite knee or shin. Hit it. Good. Elbows are tucked at about 45 away from your rib cage. You're getting down at least 90 degree flexion in the elbows, if not chest all the way to the floor. If you need to go for a couple uh, shin or knee taps before you add a push up, feel free to do so. Or work your way down. That is time. Work your way down all the way to the floor. Touch that chest, and then you can bring your knees down, assist your way out of there, get back to high plank, and then get going from there. Two, one, hit it. That's 
it. You got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna get you on your feet for this last one. We're just gonna go icky shuffle side to side. Add a little, quick little RDL on either hand. Three, two, one. Inside knee comes up. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, hinge. One, two, three, hinge. Again, you guys are doing a lot of hin hinging here because we do have uh, a lot of booty work today. You know, every day is booty day. I want to make sure that that posture chain's fired up so that you guys are able to efficiently and effectively make your way through each of the intervals of each of these exercises. Time. We've got one more round. Woo! Five seconds. Four. Let's go, crew. Two. One. Come on, guys. Last opportunity to get that heart rate up there. Let's go. Ten seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, first exercise is grab your one weight, grab your elevated surface. Uh, you guys can go front rack or goblet style, whatever is comfortable. Maybe you guys don't even want to use a weight. Uh, you guys are just going to take your single leg, place it in front of your box, sit down on that guy. You guys can either kick down and foot forward like so, have it raised the entire time, whatever is comfortable. Get into that march. You got it. Slide it. Slide it. That's my alarm, by the way. Slide it off. We'll be passing by and All right, you ready? This is a great song, by the way. I am now. A little Kygo. Okay, hey guys, grab your weight. Corey, go in front rack or goblet? Goblet. Okay, I think that's the easiest, best way to do it. Keeps it the weight in your midline. Of course, you can put it off to the side in front rack. At a I might end balance. up with a little bit rotation because, of course, I like to march. But I'm going to still keep that goblet style the whole time. All right, here we go, guys. Two, one, hit it. Okay, guys, come on, come on, come on. You got 15 seconds still. Try to keep tension in your leg as you lower yourself down. You don't want to just pop down onto your box. You might miss it. It's going to be harder to get up. You're not working as hard. You want to make this as best as possible. Two, one, time. Just over those feet. Now, Corey started with his weak side first. Smart move. Now he's into his right side because he's right leg dominant. Take your time. Still got 20 seconds. Pump up the jams for you a little bit. All right, guys, we are getting ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Now, you can do this a couple ways. Always have that heel dug in the floor a little bit for a kickstand, helping you balance. I like to just go with single foot the entire time, raise up in that march. You could always go single foot on the way down, dig that foot in to help you come up. It's totally up to you. Play around with it, whatever is best for you. That is just over halfway you got. 10 seconds. Come on, guys, let's go. And while they're on the ground, we'll be looking down. Less than five. Two, one, time. Nice. We're halfway through our first station, guys. Keep it up. Remember, you guys can roll or rock into that movement to help you get off the box. Try not to round the back. Okay, guys. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. No way. I'm here for you. No. Let's go, let's go. You got this. It's easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Getting close to that halfway mark. That is halfway. Keep going, keep going. Corey's adding that little bit of tension over top of that uh, raised up foot, that knee drive foot. Five seconds, four, three, two, one.
Guess what? One more. <laughs> One more and we rotate. Baby, 10 seconds. Let's do a crew. Come on. Let's finish this off. Get through this station. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Don't quit on yourself. You got this. That is over halfway. You only got 10 seconds left. Come on, crew. Get through these. Give me two or three more. At least. Come on, fight for them. You got it. You got it. Three, two, one. All right, guys. We're going to move into a single legged, single arm RDL Woo! to snatch. So we're just going to stick with our one weight. You can get rid of that box until we need it for our glute bridges at the end of the workout. <sighs> now. Just like you did your RDL in our Tabata, you're reaching with one hand to that opposite foot with that dumbbell. Rotate that thumb in towards your shin. Drive out of there. Get tall, get tall, get tall. Snatch that guy up. If you guys don't want to, you don't have to add that mark. Find your rhythm. Find what works best for you. Whew. So we've got 20 seconds. Well, that's good news. That's time. Say hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Hit it. That is halfway. Really try to keep that dumbbell tight to your body. Let that rotation in with the thumb help you rotate out as you get to the top. So when I have thumb down, as you start, thumb up as you end, that's time. Get a good hinge. Don't use your back too much. You want to use your shoulder, your hips. Hands Push that foot into the floor. Push that floor away from you. Almost like you're wanting to jump. <sighs> 15 seconds. Guys, get Whew. ready here. Going in five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> so guys, very good job. Very good job. <sighs> you got this. 15. Push that floor away, rotate that thumb in, drive up. Remember, try to come up with some force so that you're able to snap or snatch that dumbbell up over your head. If you don't come up with force, it's going to be a lot harder time. A lot harder on your shoulder for you to get that weight up and over. Whew. I'm feeling it today, crew. Good, 15 seconds. All that unilateral exercise, moving a little faster through that movement prep than usual. A little sweatier than usual. Five, four, three, two, one. All you people in the house, get up and scream and shout. Say hey, Good job, there you go. Fifteen. Use that leg. Come on, push that floor away. Push it down and away from you. That's it. That's it. You got this, guys. You got this. Five, four, three, one more. two, one. Finish your last rep. Get out of there. Okay. That's one done on each side. We got one minute of work left. No, no, no. Twice on one side, once on the second side. You're going to make me do an extra round. He's going to make us do an I extra almost, round. I almost did, guys. I, I apologize. Whew. Whoops. That was okay. Five That's seconds. your one for the day. We Four, all get one. Three, two, one. Five. 
All right, guys. Well, then we're almost on the station, which means that you guys should be kicking in the fifth or sixth year. Let's go. But I'm winning like Pippin. No, you won't catch me slipping. Hustle 24-7. Yeah, I'm bad like a villain. You got this. Ten seconds. Get those reps in. No, you won't catch me slipping. Straight up vodka, no soda. 6 a.m. doing yoga. And the birds are be flipping. No, you won't catch me slipping. If you see me, I'm going to beat you like Obama. All right. Moving on to station number three, we're going to do a half kneeling, single arm overhead press. The free arm is going to be isometrically holding a lateral fly. So if you guys don't have a light weight, you guys can either just hold that arm out there. You could grab a can of soup or any kind of can. You know what? A heavy book would be good because then you got to hold it. I might even turn this guy down. For the same reason, try to get some grip strength. So just holding something that's easy. If you grab a textbook, it's gonna create some more tension. 15 seconds. Distal tension started. always creates proximal. Because if out here is working hard, and here will be working hard. Uh, same knee uh, is gonna be forward as whatever your overhead pressing arm is. Okay. Same, same. All right, here we go, no, guys. Right? No. Am I? No. One. Hit it. What? Nothing. We're good. So if you make it harder, you're not. That's exactly it. Same side knee, same side foot is forward as the overhead pressing arm. Really try to hold that lateral fly steady. Get most of your weight in that front foot. Try to get that bicep up to your ear. Two, one, and tie. Get that last one. Right. Good. Little rotation's fine. You guys could basically have your palm in towards your head the entire time if you wanted to. Just make sure you're not bringing that weight way off to the side. You're going to burn up that shoulder real quick. I've lost my train of thought for a second. Usually we do pressing arm as the backside, don't we? Not that it super matters because we're creating tension and steadiness. Either way, whatever foot's for it. I usually but do. I just lost it I in my head. I usually do opposite. So that's do yeah. Two, I think I do too. One, hit it. I don't know I why. Just I saw said that your knee was forward, so we're just going. Yeah, no, you you called it right. I think I goofed that one. But like I said, you're trying to create the rib cage sitting right over the hip, so it doesn't really matter which one is forward, unless you start to get some rotation on purpose, because then you'll be gravitating in a goofy direction. If you got so a different you know, knee Corey, forward. Just to do it, you guys, you can keep that knee forward for your next interval. Just yeah, I'll switch through. it up. Two, one, time. It's just going to help you guys get a little bit more, like, slight or distal tension, yeah. I should say, through that upper body. Um, it's just more of a natural movement. Uh, your body's going to want to rotate when your knee is opposite to your overhead pressing arm. Your yeah, arm it makes it so easier. Way to rotate, keeping the ribs in line. But it also makes it harder to just stabilize and not. That's right, because you'll get to the other way. You'll end up turning those hips. Right. Three, two, one, hit it. Lots of weight in that front foot. 15 seconds, that's it. Lots of weight. I'm almost trying to bring that knee off the pad. <sighs> 10 seconds. Ah! Five, Come on, crew! Four, Come on! Three, two, one. <sighs> one more at the station, guys. Woo! Remember, try to get that bicep up to the air, ear. If you're not way out with that elbow, you're keeping that elbow relatively tucked towards your body. We're going 15. All right, guys, get ready here. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Got it. Fifteen seconds. Finish your off. We got a minute rest after this. Five, four, three, two, 
one let it go guys Bruh. all right we're gonna get you guys to toasty just the one weight for this next one you guys are gonna go into a high plank position you're gonna pull through your weight across your body so you you want to pull it right, you got to take your right hand and reach to the left side of your body. Pull the weight across. Put that guy down or get your hand off of it. Put your hand down and then do a push-up. Of course, you could just do the pull-throughs and not, not add the push-up or do several pull-throughs. Then add the push-up. Yeah. Totally up to you. Go one at a time. Go up there and back. You could do threes. You could do fours. Whatever you want. Try to keep your hips down, guys. Don't add too much rotation. 30 is going to be box. beefy. Yeah, it's going to be tough. going to be beefy. Hips, guys, hips stay. You'll see my feet nice and wide because 30 is not light. Bigger foundation means less of that booty waggle. All right, guys. Keep five, it steady. Five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hit it. Good job. Pull through. Now you're going to rotate a tiny little bit to your shoulders. It's your hips that you don't want moving all over the place. Good, 15 seconds. Good job, good job. Time. I went one or two seconds over so you could finish that rep. I always feel like when we do leg stuff, it just goes by so fast. Mm. Upper body, especially push ups, especially push ups. It's that feels 30 like seconds feels like forever. Yep. I'm sure everybody's got an exercise like that. For me, it's these push ups. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys. That's it. That's it. <laughs> 15 seconds. <sighs> Let's go, let's go. Get there, get there. You got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Whew. All right, guess what? One more minute of work, and then you only have one station left. You can start in about 15 seconds. All right, crew, let's do this. Five, two down, two four, to go. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Good job. Stay steady. Brace back four. You're getting close to halfway. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, Come on. two, one. When you guys do this, I should have mentioned before, try not to lift that guy off the floor. You want it to create, have some friction on whatever surface you're using just to add an extra little. Yeah. Because then you're actually using your back. Remember we've talked about how the lats and the opposite glute connect. Yeah. So trying to turn the hip down, squeeze my bum, pull across with that back. That is correct. We get started in five. Money time. Four, Let's go, guys. Three, two, one. We one more to go at this station, guys. Or sorry, we're, this is our last one. Yeah, station, come on, man. I meant. You keep trying to make it's us what, do more work no, today. No, no, no. I meant this one. This is our last one. Oh, okay. It's five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job, good job, guys. Let's take it to our last station, which is going to be our foot elevated glute bridge mark. So you guys are going to grab a mini band if you got it, place it around your feet, balls of your feet. And then what you're going to do 
is get your foot elevated on your surface. You're going to drive your hips from the floor up into the air until your legs are about 90 degree flexion. As you do so, you're driving a knee up and into your chest. And if you get straighter legs, you're going to get a lot more hamstring activation. So you could do this with straight legs. I'm going to be here, pull, dig down with the heel, pull, yep. pull. Yep. Glutes are on fire the whole time. I'm squeezing, tucking that tail. Ribs are down, so I don't use my lower back too much. And then march, like I said, if I get further away, so I'm set up with straighter legs, I'm going to get a lot more hamstring activation in that march position than if I'm closer. Correct. Correct. All right. That is over a minute. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hit it. Let's get those around my feet. There we go. Start again in 10 guys, we got 90 seconds of work left. Let's keep it up. Two, one, hit it. Getting those hands involved. You guys can have your hands straight up over your chest, off of the side, whatever you guys feel is comfortable. Get into your rhythm, get into your flow. Corey's over that 90 degree flexion, holding his glute bridge the entire time. You guys, of course, can bring your butt down to the floor and then start marching that knee up as you raise your hips up in the air. It's totally up to you. Time. One minute left. Woo! Give a little up, got to give a little more. Got to give it all you got. Get your feet out on the floor. Got to give a little love. Got to give a little more. Got to give it all you got. Get your feet out on oh, the floor. Oh, there we go, DJ. Now I just act four. Now it's three, two, one. Good job, guys. Keep it up. You got to give it up. Wanna see your candy on the dance floor, yeah. 15. Up, keep marching, keep marching. Toes up, toes up, just like you're doing your so eight. Yeah. Uh, uh, you got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Last one, last one. We're there. All right, take one for the gram. Alex is making a, a great DJ slash videographer back there. We got 15 seconds. Woo! All right, five, four, three, two, one. Let's just say, guys, let's get to that finish line. Come on, crew, squeeze Four, that booty. Three, let's go. Two, one. Well done, well done. Oh. Get on out of there. Get some air, get some water. With that hard band, you know what's funny? My peroneals are the ones that are on fire. More than my glutes and my hamstrings. Mm, really? Who would have thought? Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, yeah. There you go. <sighs> All right. <sighs> okay, let's just take you guys through a quick little flow, get you guys out of here. So our yogi friend, Meg, will come deliver an awesome class to you guys on MU version. MUV. 
All right. I'm going to get you into a full half kneeling or front lunge position. Let's do it. Right foot forward, please. Let Excuse that left me. knee slowly come to the floor. Cool. I want you to then reach and rotate. Hold for a breath there, then bring it across your chest for a breath or two. Good. Hand hits the floor. So does the other one. Push back in the down dog. Hang out here for four breaths. I want you to really push through that middle back. You guys can gasp at all your feet if you like. And that same right foot is going to sling forward into your pigeon. We got issues that we can't change quickly as we'd like to, as we need to. And I'm worried it will backspin, pull it out the lens. Four breaths here, and then I want you to sit up into 90 90. Now just kick out that right foot so you get to a hurt. Reach across that toe, keep that back flat. Four breaths here, then back into 90 90. Hands can hit the floor. Go down dog. Just two full exhales, and then we bring that left foot up in the air. We go half knee in position again. Two breaths, reach and rotate. Two breaths, forward and across for that rear delt. Then hands hit the floor. We go down dog. Repeat everything on the same, or everything on that side that we did on our prior side. Head first, past the point of no return. It's the only way left to go. Can't keep talking while the years go by. Gotta go home. Three, four, maybe five breaths each of these positions, guys. Doesn't need to be too technical. This time. You gotta go whole heart this time. I said, we've got to, got to, got to go whole heart. We are back into that hurdler position. We go 90 90. Back into our down dog. Knees hit the floor, 10 toes come together, settle to that child's pose, and finish off here. You guys can work your hands off to the side if you like. And just give your body a quick scan when you're ready. Dismount. How are you feeling, buddy? I don't wanna Feel good. All right, guys. Like I said, just do a quick scan if you Whew. need. Definitely feeling that burn up the side and then the back of the legs from that last exercise. It's a good way to finish. Make sure those hammies, glutes are lit up a little bit. Ah. Are you waiting? Ready? MU crew. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We always appreciate it when you can join us. I don't have hurt at all. That was the fucked up part. That's a heart. I was like doing like this. I'm like, what is that? Well, I mean, the heart's not like, the heart's it actually shaped like. technically is kind of like that. There we go. I heart you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> we'll be back for another episode. Corey Thanks, and Alex guys. in the afternoon. Hope you guys enjoy. Till next time. Day. Later.